If you're new to the PIDP program, um, and if you're new to online learning in general, and if this is your first course, um, or it's been a while since you've been in school or have no experience with online learning, um, I want to share some information with you that will not only help you in this course and in the PIDB program, but also with learning in general, because there's some key information I think I can help you with that'll help you organize the information that you have to go through and discern what you need to do and what you don't need to do and become a good uh, discerner of information. So this is really important to uh, understand that you have total control over how you access the online information. That's one of the great advantages of online learning is that you can control your pace, you can control access, you can take a look at what you want, when you want, you can jump ahead, you can go wherever you want. This is also a challenge. If you start jumping ahead and you lose sight of how this course is structured, it's easy to get overwhelmed by the information. So one of the advantages of online learning is that you have control over how you uh, move forward. The disadvantage is that you have to actually become responsible and accountable for that freedom and control. So hopefully the tips that I provide in this short video will help you with that. When you first look at the course, um, depending on how if you've uh, uh, used Moodle before or haven't used Moodle before, um, you could see something along these lines. You, you might also see that you have a little index here on the side. I prefer to use this index view because by moving around in the index, I can move to the different sections of the course. Um, if you open up your course uh, and, and you see everything that is wide open and you start to scroll down, you're immediately going to feel overwhelmed. It's like being able to scroll, scroll through an entire book. That's overwhelming, but if you break it down into chapters, it's much less overwhelming. So I, I always encourage everybody to start in this close all view and look at different sections at a time. The VCC policy section, all about adding, dropping, different administrative stuff. Uh, it won't necessarily help you in this particular course, but if you run into trouble and need to arrange for extended time or a few other things, it can be helpful. So be aware of this. Take some time to look at it. Please review it. Um, the start here section, we're hoping that this is going to be the first place that you go. And you can take a look at the welcome video uh, where I welcome you to the course. Um, we also point you to the required readings in the textbook, which is really going to be important. Um, and then uh, we point you to where you can get the textbook. And shortly after that, we also point you to the, the course learning outcomes, which is crucial because you want to take a look at these because this outlines what you're going to learn. What are you going to be able to do? And you're going to be able to, you're going to create several things. You're going to uh, create a couple of reflective writing um, articles. You're going to do a report on learning theory, perhaps a digital report. You're going to do some uh, reflection on cognitive science and create a podcast. And you also get to create a blog and, and, and uh, blog post about uh, the roles and trends in, in learning. Um, and you're also going to be um, establishing your learning philosophy and you'll have an exit in an interview with, with me where you can talk about it. This is an outcomes-based course, meaning you create these things. There's no tests, no exams, but you have to reflect and create and develop these key um, activities that will help you gain a better understanding. This is how the course works. So please take a good look at this and be aware of it because this really outlines what you're going to do and it'll make the course less overwhelming because well, a couple of reflective writing posts, learning theory uh, um, report, you know, there's really only five or six, five things you're going to be doing in the course. So what, I, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to the main course view and I'm going to show you how things are set up. And each of the weeks, um, the information is set up in a similar fashion. Okay. Now, before I go to each into each of these sections, I'm not going to do every section. I want you to take a look at the fact that we have given you a 10-week structure, and that will help you to organize your thinking about approaching this course on a 10-week perspective. Now, I have to warn you. You immediately need to go to week 10, actually week 9, and take a look at what you need to do to prepare for your uh, learning philosophy interview. Okay, You immediately have to jump ahead. Just because we've got this structure doesn't mean you follow it in that linear structure. You're actually going to be moving around a little bit. So knowing where everything is is, is extremely important. So when you go into week 10, you're going to see, like every other activity, you've got a required materials section. And there's going to be a video that introduces the idea. And then 
then you'll see the assignment instructions okay and this is something you we encourage you to view uh, read off and in this activity you're going to be reviewing 10 questions over the next 10 weeks uh, that you're going to be in this course and you're going to be prepared to talk about them in that exit interview so this this is important even though we've got this linear structure please keep in mind that uh, we are also uh, asking you to move around and get a good concept of what's happening within the course right so I'm gonna close everything down again just to make sure that it's easy to follow so let's let's take a look at week two in week two you've got required materials which again is a, vi a video where I talk about certain things you've got a link to the actual assignment document you've got some additional information that is helpful uh, you have to actually uh, submit a consent form here and then you've got additional resources that you're going to use to do the work in this particular area for example there's a link to free blog sites and recommendations and um, uh, you can click on some of these links and get access to some of the blogging tools that we're encouraging you to use um, on the note of blogging I, I want you to understand that we are asking you to create a blog and this is something that I have developed and worked on for many 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 years and the benefits of doing this are are, are vast and are useful so we're not asking you to do anything that we won't do ourselves and I will be pointing you to my blog actually uh, to even take a look at how you may want to build yours I have an e-portfolio section I'm on my blog that you can use to build out your blog and move forward um, in the PIDP program so as I was pointing out each section or each week or each assignment um, has a required material section which is a key information and then the resources that you'll need to complete the work and then this will also be the location where you submit the work through a Dropbox or um, uh, something like that now it's, it's going to be important for you to get very familiar with the structure of the course where everything is located so that you can follow your um, schedule which we do point to you uh, in week one we do have um, a schedule that I'm just going to bring up actually it's in the start here section I believe and now when you click on some of the links here if it's going to be something like a PDF it, it may open in Adobe Accurate Reader um, or you can open it within Firefox so depending on how your system will set up you might see something like this and it'll open on my screen and there might be additional little boxes that will open and you might have to just move them to the side so we do offer a schedule that will help you to sort of get yourself organized and you can take a look at when the assignments are due you can make note of them add them to your calendar and it gives you an overview of the information so uh, please keep that in mind so again it's important that you get very familiar with the different weeks and the activities and the assignments so work with the schedule and once you get familiar uh, with that schedule you should be able to quite easily move around uh, within within the uh, Moodle website um, you know whether you're opening and closing all the elements or you're keeping some of them open um, again I use this side uh, panel to help me control where I want to move around I also can click in this area so you'll see that there's a variety of ways you can access the information but it's crucial for you to really get a handle on what you need to do the five key things you need to do um, and when they're due and where you find the resources to be able to do them so uh, welcome to the course play around get familiar move around get familiar with moving between this schedule view and and the main schedule view so it, it's really really helpful for you to be able to you know get very very comfortable with with where you are within the course and be able to jump around and find the activities that you're doing so use all the resources that we've given you um, but you need to actually become familiar with everything explore experiment look for things and once you've got that feel for it you'll be able to identify what you need to do when you need to do it don't forget about that schedule um, and hopefully I provided some recommendations and some suggestions that will help you move forward the key thing here is you really have to adopt a growth mindset I would argue a learners mindset where you look at challenges as opportunities and you're always looking to grow explore experiment click on the different buttons you're not gonna break anything here digitally you can't break things you, you can't so explore experiment find things and if necessary don't hesitate to reach out and get some help uh, talk to me talk to some of your classmates and uh, really take ownership of this learning experience and you'll be able to move through it quite uh, efficiently the angst of all this information 
does go away um, and you will get used to it. And then you'll see in other courses that uh, the elective courses, which are a little bit simpler, have different structures. So be prepared to see different structures, different elements, uh, but also be prepared to take ownership of your learning. Get very familiar with this tool where you're going to be spending a lot of time.